So guys, welcome to day number two of the property challenge. Now I'm very excited and I really want to get you the best results. So now that you have your outcome and your milestone goal, let's now look at what strategies are the best ones in property that are going to get you there. Now listen, you may down the line get to the stage where you can do multiple strategies, but let's analyze which ones they are and what we are likely to receive in cash flow or in capital returns if we are selling. So there's either hold strategies or sell strategies. And also we've got some nice bonuses of other strategies that you can also utilize in property that is going to get you more experience, more exposure and attract lots of investors if that's your outcome. So the first one, that we can look at. So this one is buy to let. So the buy to let strategy, more like your single units, your flats. Now these are going to be a more minimal term, but they may have longer term tenants and you've got to look at the cash flow that you're likely to achieve. So remember any property that we want to buy, we want to add value so that we can maximize our returns. So as I say, you've got a few of these that you could do to get you to that outcome of a thousand pounds a month on your milestone goals. But listen, do you want to do it fast or do you want to do it slow? So this is where we're going to analyze the strategies and then see which one is best to get you there on the speed in which you want to do it. So the next one, which I love, is a HMO. So this is a house of multiple occupancy. Now this is basically buying a normal house, say you've got a three bedroom residential property, but you're then gonna carve it up into lots of individual rooms that you're going to let to different individuals. This could be students or professionals. We will be doing different slots over the challenges as to what kind of demand you are looking for for your strategy. So we will cover that. This is the kind of cash flow on average that you were looking to achieve for a five, six bedroom HMO. So you're looking at 800 to 1,000 pounds per month in net income. This is amazing. Look at this. You may have a mixture. You could do a few of these deals, a few of the HMO deals, just to package up your portfolio. Diversification is key in your portfolio and your strategy and your growth. So listen, look at that, analyze it. What is this like for myself? Obviously, we are gonna go through certain things, but as we do in all of our trainings, you need to make sure that you're educated enough to take on a HMO unit, because there's different kind of legislations and things like that that you need to follow, but an absolutely excellent strategy where you're providing luxury secure accommodation to multiple people, as opposed to just one unit with your buy to let. So again, you can kind of cross over with the two, but these strategies are absolutely amazing. So the next one, 